Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the output of a function given the input. Now what is a function? A function is something which takes an input, does something with that input and spits out an output. That is what a function is. So for example, your function could do something really simple like multiply the input by two and spit out the output. Now, how would we write this? This particular function we would write as f of x equals 2x. And I'll break down what I mean by this. f is just the name of your function. So your function has the name f. We could actually use g or h. We typically use f and g for functions. And we've got a function f which takes an input x, so a generic input x, and then the output is this expression on the right-hand side of your equation. So it's saying you're taking an input x and you're outputting 2x. So if the input is x, the output is 2x. So for example, if the input was 4, the output would be 2 times 4, 8, which is double that. So 2x is representing twice whatever the input is. If, for example, I had f of x equals x squared, that's saying I'm taking an input x and I'm doing that input squared. So I'm squaring the input to get the output. And if I wrote, say, f of 4 for this particular function here, then I would do 4 squared, which is equal to 16. So if you have a function like this, then whatever x is being substituted with, you substitute the x on the right-hand side with the same thing. So let's look at this. We've got f of x is root x minus 2. We want to find f of 51. So the input x has been substituted with 51. We've made the input 51. And that means on the right-hand side, we also make that x 51. So we do the square root of 51 minus 2. Now, 51 minus 2 is 49. And the square root of 49 is 7. So when the input of your function is 51, the output of your function, what's spit out of your function, will be 7.